Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm actually here at Holiday <laughs> in Deerwood. And look at that. I got the ball on. <laughs> you know what that means? That means my trailer is sitting over there somewhere. So I actually have to work for like a couple of hours. So I'm gonna work remote from my truck and then I'm gonna go pick up my trailer. So for you, it'll just be a few moments. <laughs> And then I'll go through the trailer and all that cool stuff. Welcome to my channel. Check this out. Yeah. So I have my trailer pulling it with my truck. Truck has no problem pulling this trailer. Let's take a look at the trailer. A little closer look. We'll take a look at the outside and the inside. Um, it's not huge. This is a 14 footer. So um, most of the wolf pups are 16 footers and i think they even make like a 17 and 18 footer um it's funny it says wolf pup limited i think the word limited on vehicles and things like this is totally abused like <laughs> there's really nothing special about this there's nothing limited about it whatever anyway rant off so you can see you got windows this is the bedroom area or the you know the the, the bed i guess there isn't really a bedroom um it's cool because it's got an outside shower i love that um this is just the typical water hookup stuff um i don't even know vent stuff whatever but um this is so i can plug it in and have power going to it once i have power a little light with, and turn on the light from the inside if you're doing the drainage stuff at night you can see that's kind of cool um one of the unique things about this trailer is the rear door uh, most of these trailers the door is on the side and the rear door actually allows this trailer to be shorter and still have a good amount of space inside and we'll check out the inside in just a minute and if you're curious as to where i got it got it from these guys there you go there's your plug roth rv um Cool, they are made in the US, which I do like. Um, kind of interesting. I think I'm gonna replace this black and white US flag with uh, a regular colored one because that just makes sense to me. Um, anyway, yeah, we'll come around here. Oh yeah, and here's the awning. This awning comes way out, like it actually comes out. And I actually tried it and it's really quiet, which I'm kind of surprised. I was expecting it to make all this noise. And it didn't, it was actually pretty quiet. Um, but what's cool out here is you got speakers on the outside, you got your regular 120, and then here's like cable and uh, HDMI. I probably will never use the cable. And then you have a little TV mount on the outside if you do want to run the TV. A nice big window, and this is the little dining area. We'll see that in, the, in a minute. Um, in here is just the power cable, but what's cool about this space is it actually goes under the bed and it's a huge storage space. So I'm probably gonna put a divider in there and keep this stuff right near the door. And then back there, I'm gonna make it so I can put like all my mountain bike gear and stuff like that because there's not a lot of other storage in there. So this is gonna be my primary like mountain bike clothing, helmets, all that stuff. So. And then, and it's got a solar port, and I did order a solar uh, panel for it, a portable one. So um, once I get the panel, I'll talk all about that stuff. I'm all about using solar. Uh, it does have the battery, propane tank, all your typical stuff for trailers. But it's pretty cool. So let's go inside and check this thing out. It's, you wouldn't think there's a lot of space inside, but I'm actually impressed with how much space there is inside and I gotta dig for the key he said the purple key holding the camera and doing the key trying to make it look good and I have no idea what it looks like because I can't see all right one of these is obviously not working well let me get inside the trailer and then I'll start the video back up okay now that I got the door open <laughs> Let's check out the inside. Um, I did switch my phone to the wide angle. I don't generally like using the wide angle because things get a little contorted, but for seeing the inside of the trailer, it's almost mandatory to do that. Plus, every time I see myself when I'm using the wide angle, I look fatter than I actually am. 
I mean, I have a little bit of weight, but I don't have as much weight as it looks like when the camera is in this wide angle mode. <laughs> Pretty funny. Uh, all right. Enough about my personal problems, right? So what's cool is because the door is in the rear, they actually divided up the toilet from the shower. So over here, you have the toilet. So, I mean, if I have two people here, one person can be taking a dump while the other person can be taking a shower. And the person in the shower doesn't have to smell it because you have that. <laughs> Both of these have vents in the top. So as we get in here, you can see the little dining area. That's pretty cool. And the big window, that's super awesome. A queen size bed, I like that. This is a big refrigerator. Like I'm pretty stoked on this. Um, so I'll have to figure out how all this works. Um, they did go over it with me, but this thing's uh, latched. Oh yeah, you gotta push and pull, there we go. In a freezer, so I can have frozen pizzas in there. Um, I don't know what a frozen pizza will do. I don't have an oven, so. Um, microwave, that's pretty cool. So I can just make stuff. I mean, this is gonna make it easy for me because I am not really one to really cook much, so. Um, I'm glad that I have all that stuff. Um, and then here, pretty, like, pretty impressive large sink. Um, here's all the indicators to tell me how much battery level, how full my tanks are, all that stuff. That's pretty cool. Again, uh, USB, um, 120s, more things. These control the lights from the outside. This opens the awning, more USBs, more uh, 110s, little AM, FM radio. Plenty of storage up here. I'm just running through this stuff pretty quick. Storage here. So I'll probably put clothes and stuff up here. And then I was talking about the bed earlier, but look at how much space is in there. So I'll probably, I don't know what's over here. Yeah, I'll probably put that stuff back on there, but the I'm gonna put some dividers in here and kind of keep that stuff there. And then all of this will be my primary place to put tools, put uh, you know my mountain bike gear, helmets, things like that. So that's kind of cool that I have that storage because all of this storage is not enough for that kind of stuff. And I don't want it just floating around in the camper. So, cool. So that's the inside. Pretty stoked about this. This is going to make living on my property a lot easier, at least until I get my house built. And um, I'm still questionable about going to Colorado um mostly because the news is is that the COVID numbers are starting to spike again so we'll see we'll see what happens with this Delta variant but if I go to Colorado I'm bringing this bad boy and gonna be sleeping in it and staying in it so we'll see how that goes um all right really appreciate you supporting my channel please like and subscribe there's gonna be a lot more of this coming Peace.